As you've probably heard by now, Logan Paul issued an apology, but should we forgive him? This is a really important subject, so stay tuned and let's discuss. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I want to apologize to the internet. I want to apologize to anyone who's seen the video. I want to apologize to anyone who has been affected or touched by mental illness or depression or suicide. But most importantly, I want to apologize to the victim and his family. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. That clip you just saw was from Logan Paul's channel. He issued about, it's about a minute and a half, apology discussing this, all right? And a ton of YouTubers, a ton, this is just what we do on YouTube. Heck, I'm doing it. But anyways, um, they've, they've made these videos on like whether or not they forgive Logan Paul, right? And Here's a couple. He made a YouTube apology, which seems genuine and seems sincere. It's a minute long, it's straight to the point. You know, it seems good. But then you realize that apology completely contradicts his Twitter one. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do not forgive Logan Paul one bit. He did this on purpose. He uploaded a video like this. There's no mistake involved. The editor proved that it's not a mistake that they contemplated for hours. No, he does not get my forgiveness. All right. So, what I wanna do, all right, is talk about forgiveness in this video. So, at my channel, obviously, like I always say, we talk about the problem, we focus on the solution. My channel is to help you out. My channel is not meant to be a channel where we're just feeding off of the news of other people and stuff like that. I try to find this balance. Like, obviously, like, you know, just because I'm part of this YouTube machine, I gotta talk about some stuff just to get some views so I can help people a little bit more. So first, let's talk about forgiveness and apologizing from your point of view. So those of you who are new to my channel and don't know my backstory, I am a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. I've been clean for about five and a half years, struggle with anxiety, depression, all sorts of stuff. My channel is all about helping you with your mental health. So let's talk about making amends, apologizing to people, okay? Here's the thing, here's this paradox about apologizing. Like all these YouTubers are talking about whether or not they forgive Logan Paul. Who cares? Like, here's the here's the problem with apologizing. Like, there's no way to prove that somebody is sorry. That's the tricky thing, right? Like, I'm a parent, I'm a father, I have a nine-year-old son. If my son does something bad and he says, daddy, daddy, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, do I forgive him? Of course I forgive him, he's my freaking son, but does he do it again? So. The problem with apologizing and forgiving people is it takes time. They have to prove it. So the fact that people are trying to discuss whether or not they forgive Logan Paul like 30 seconds after the guy made his apology is bananas. The proof is going to be in what happens in the coming months. Do we see that this actually changed him? Is he truly sorry? I am somebody who not only have I screwed up a lot, I've never screwed up on the level that Logan Paul did, I've screwed up a lot. I have lied, cheat, cheated, stolen, I've hurt people who care about me the most in the world, and here's the problem. I apologize to them constantly, constantly, and I kept apologizing to them and just kept doing the same thing over and over and over again. So for those of you who don't know, I work at a drug and alcohol rehab center with clients and a lot of them struggle with like, my family doesn't trust me, my family doesn't trust me, my family doesn't trust me. And I'm like, well, no, duh. Like something I had to realize is I gave my family a reason not to trust me, right? And the only way that they're gonna start trusting me again or truly believe that I am sorry for what I've done is by seeing a change in my behaviors. So this is what I'm trying to help you with. If you're wondering why people don't forgive you, it's because your actions speak louder than your words. Sorries, apologies, making amends, none of these things mean anything. They don't mean anything at all. They're just words. It's the actions. So something that we talk about in the realm of recovery is something called a living amends. The living amends that I make to my son, to my family, to my friends, the living amends that I make is by becoming a better person every single day. They see through my actions, not just my words, but through my actions that I am working very hard on becoming a better person. 
For example, I work nine, 10 hours a day, every day, and then I come home and I make YouTube videos to help people like you overcome struggles with your mental illness, right? I'm doing things, I am putting good energy back out into the world, I'm trying to become a better person. That is how people see that I have changed. So my suggestion is when it comes to apologies and things like that, let's watch Logan Paul over the coming months and see how he changes. Only then can we look back at this situation and say, oh, okay, I do forgive him. Because trying to act like you forgive somebody or don't forgive somebody after a few hours is kind of nuts, okay? Now, on the other hand too, when we talk about making amends, when I'm apologizing to somebody, something that they teach us and what I learned is, it's all about keeping my side of the street clean. When I was going through the amends process and apologizing to people, check out the info card above, by the way. I have a video on how to forgive yourself. This is all about keeping my side of the street clean because Logan Paul is going through this right now. Like when I screw up, when I screw up and I go and I apologize, I have to lower my expectations and be 100% prepared for people to tell me to go screw myself because that happens. It's not about whether or not this person forgives me, it's about can I go to sleep tonight with a clear conscience? That's kind of my goal. If any of you want a North Star every single day that you wake up, say, I wanna act in a way today that will allow me to go to sleep tonight without feeling guilty about who I have harmed. Because the more I do that, the more I forgive myself. Because you're gonna have people who don't forgive you and anything like that, but are you good with you? Do you believe on a day-to-day -day basis that you are being a good person? Because when you do that, then other people's opinions of you don't matter. It's all about if you are good for yourself, all right? So the last thing I'll touch it on is forgiveness. Title of this video, like, should we forgive Logan Paul, right? And I talked about this in another video, which I will link above, when I talked about how Shane Dawson forgave his father, his father who walked out on him in his life. And the best advice that I can give you, watch that video if you want a more in-depth look at this, but we get it twisted. Forgiving somebody isn't letting somebody else off the hook. Forgiving people is letting ourselves off the hook. Those clips I showed you of other YouTubers saying, no, I don't forgive Logan Paul. Like, who cares? Like, the human mind works in a way where hatred, disgust, you know, just general annoyance with other human beings, all that does is breed more hatred within you, right? But when I'm able to breed love and compassion and kindness, it grows more love, compassion, and kindness towards the world. Like if any of you ever get the, the opportunity to meet me because I'm amazing, that was a joke, calm down. But you'll see that I'm a genuinely happy guy. I'm a happy guy and one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I'm so happy all the time is because I do not hold grudges. I lower my expectations of people. I understand that people's, people are fallible and I understand that a lot of people are very sick and often in ways that they don't even understand. So what I do as a kindness to myself is that I forgive them because it lets me off the hook, all right? But anyways, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But I would love to know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think about this whole subject about forgiving Logan Paul, all right? But anyways, if you're new here, don't forget to click that little round subscribe button. My channel is all about helping you with your mental health. I also talk about addiction recovery and all sorts of other good stuff that you can watch right now by clicking or tapping on one of those thumbnails right to the left of me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.